brothers may know this, but if you see passages, well, y'all brothers do, you see passages when it says, he, like, when it says Enoch walked with the Most High, or when it says, when Moses says he was face to face with the Lord, basically that's going into a way where it's how Enoch walked in the ways of the Most High. What, the Lord wasn't sat by sat with them, but he was walking the ways of the Most High, so he was with the Most High in the spirit. Just like how he says uh, Moses uh, uh, seen the Lord face to face, the Heavenly Father revealed the wisdom and everything to Moses on how he was dealing with Moses on a level. That's, that's what that means. Now, now, now there was a, a, a situation where he covered his face and uh -huh. then he made his back to pass by and he allowed him to see the back of the Most High, you know, see his back. So that did physically happen where he manifested himself. But, um, but yeah, it goes more into so how he came and sent, he sent like messengers directly unto Moses to speak with him verbally, you know what I'm saying, as well, like in the burning bush. You know what I'm saying? What's that, that name was Yahweh Shai. That was Yahweh Shai. Everybody else gets dreams usually, but he actually sent a messenger to Yahweh Shai to speak unto Moses. And the funny part of that is because as I was studying, I was reminded of John chapter 8 when Yahweh Shai is arguing with the Pharisees. And he says, uh, before Abraham was, I am. Mm -hmm. In the so-called Christian church, they take that and they say, well, that means that Jesus was calling himself himself God. Yep. Right. <laughs> but when I when I studied it, that's not the word that's used. The word that's used is I need. And it means like I am, meaning I exist. But when you look at the name Yahweh, the name Yahweh means he is. He is, he, he, yep, he is it, yep. just, That's like two different concepts. Yeah, and, they and say so that they, blows the whole thing out of the water. So did I, they say a higher, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, they call the most high a higher. But we, we're not saying that we exist. We're saying he exists. He exists yeah. So you're yeah, Howard. Yeah, Howard, yeah. You know, so yeah. So yeah, that would be a higher nature. Yeah. Because you I think that's like I think it's like third person. Because when they when the right. children of Israel ask, they're gonna say, We're gonna tell them like, oh, like who sent you? We're gonna say well, he is. he's yeah, he he is, he sent us. He is, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not we can I send ourselves. Right, exactly. <laughs> what I'm gonna say, I I am <laughs> I sent me, I sent me to myself, I spoke to myself. No, he sent us, he exists. Yeah, this is Zephaniah chapter, chapter 3 and verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Right, so, hey, hey, you know, for those... For those people who say the name uh, is, 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 Jesus, uh, is Jesus or Jehovah, right? It says that the pure language, that pure language is talking about Hebrew, man, right? Because to, 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 you have to, to know the name of the Lord, you have to be able to speak the ancient Hebrew, mm -hmm. right? You have to know the ancient Hebrew to, to know the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh, okay, and the son is Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. okay? We believe that through faith. Through faith yeah. We believe that that was revealed to our elders, and that's what we believe to be the truth. We know that there, there's power in the name. Yeah, and okay. then, and then when you break them down, like when you we break it down in the, in the letters that it's in the Hebrew, that's what it adds up to be. But then not only that, Esau knows this, bro. He got it in movies. Mm -hmm. We got it. We got it on uh, uh, ancient stones that our ancestors used to write it on yeah, the names he, of the Lord. Esau the, had one, the, one of them guys going on there, and he said he actually he said the know. name. He it said he said Yahweh. Right? Because his name was written down there and he said it, so they know. It's on the ball, it's on the ball by stone, right? Yeah. The name of the Lord, Yahweh. They got it in movies, bro. Yeah. Right? And, and right, and they'll, they'll, they'll do it, they'll manifest it in like subliminal ways. Yeah, exactly. So uh, if, if you're intelligent enough, you'll catch it, but if you're not, it'll go right over your head. Like, what, what, what's, what's, the, what's the dude that, what's the little, you know, my journey dude, he used to always swing around with jungles. Not Tarzan. What's oh, the name? Uh, uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indiana Jones. They showed it in yeah. that, bro. Indiana Jones. Bro, they, they, they at least know, bro. They showed the thing in Indiana Jones, bro. Indiana Jones movie. I forget specifically what they showed, but it was, I think it was like a stone or like a coin or something. But they had to deal with dealing with us, bro. Yeah, yeah. Did they even say so? Did they do something in the mummy, too? Yeah, yeah. The yeah, mummy. Yeah, yeah. The God of the Hebrews. The, the God of the Hebrews and on the book of the, uh, that movie, The Mummy. Yeah, because he was about to get he was about to get ate by that mummy, the show um, was. right? And he he had all the he had all the religions, all the different chain religions on, right? And he got to the you know so-called Jewish type of symbol, 
But y'all know what it is. Yeah, the what Star Mole. Star Mole. Y'all people know what it is. The the star of David. Right. But at the end of the day, it showed that the God of the Hebrews, that he's the one he feared. You know? What he said? What he said? The, the God of the Hebrews. The God slaves. of the slaves, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And so, like, yeah. That also reminds me of the book of Jonah. When uh -huh. he was on the boat, and they asked him, they said, well, what, 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 what nation are you from, and who is your God? And the first thing he said was, I serve the God of the Hebrews, the God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. So, the name of the creator, and my name, my name is, in, in English, my name is Chauncey. I have the Hebrew name that, 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 the, that the nation gave me, and I have my English name. Okay, right, and I right, found right. out that my English name is not, it's a slave name, but it's of people of origin. Right, right, I thought okay. it was French. My name is Chauncey. I thought my name was French. That's what it said. But when, when I studied it, it's actually Hebrew. And it means Zion. And in French, my name means Chancellor. Ch what is it? The French is what? Chancellor? The French is Chancellor. Okay. But in Hebrew, it's Zion. Well, how would it be, how would it be yeah. pronounced in, in the Hebrew? In Hebrew, it's pronounced as Tezayawan Tezay. Or that's ancient Hebrew. In modern Hebrew, it's pronounced. Sion, yeah. Sion, but you don't say it. It would be Sion say, Sion say, something like that. What that's Sion say? Oh, in in, 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 in uh, French, we pronounce it Sion say. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So they're they're like they took, they pronounce it almost the same, but they changed the definition of it. And I'm like, whoa. So that shows like, even when I look at, because after studying that, I studied the name Jesus. Quote unquote Jesus. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. And 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 I find, and what, what you find is that in in the Greek you cannot pronounce his name. So they had you, like you can't say Shua in Greek. So they had to pronounce they had to pronounce it in a certain way, and the only way they could come was to say Yesu. Yup, Yesu. That's yep. the closest they could come. Yeah, because there's no there's but no uh, the so-called Edomites and the so the so-called right. Romans and all of them they took it and they made it something else. Right. That's where you could just white dude and all of that shit. But really, that, that when they originally translated it, it was only because they couldn't pronounce it in their language. So mm -hmm. I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, how much more have I been lied to? Everything. 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 <laughs> Everything, you know? Yeah. And that's a part of re renewing your mind. You see? Like your brother made a video, you know? We all do. Right when your slate is all up. It's time to get your brain washed. Mm -hmm. It's a brain brainwash is a great thing mm, yeah. because our brains need washed. You gotta empty your cup. Empty your cup, right? Because mm -hmm. our brains are full of what? Filth. Mm -hmm. Just straight mm -hmm. filth. Yeah. You know, but we now we, we're washing it. How we wash? Let's get it. Uh, Ephesians five and twenty six. Ephesians five and twenty six. We washing it by the word. Mm. Um, there was a scripture I called out. Who had to Acts four and twelve? Acts four and twelve. We washing our brains through the word. Go ahead, bring it out. Book of Acts. Acts 4 and 12. The book of Acts, verse 12. So like, this is the book of Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under he under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So with that scripture alone, that should just, that should just, uh, what's the word? Uh, is it solidate? Is the word? Or that, and they were already yeah, right there. That scripture alone should be like, you know what? The name of the Lord is important. See, the name of the Lord is very important. Well, see, people, people get so simple, man. The simplicity just in Hamashiach, man. And he, he is the Word made flesh. So people get into this simplicity and they read the English verbatim and they say, see, it's after Jesus Christ. There's no other name. Come on, man. That ain't the, that, you know, that ain't simple, the original. Man. That ain't the original language, man. Hey. This, this, these scriptures was translated from other languages, man. Right? So the question is, what were the ancient Hebrews or the Israelites speaking, okay? And what were they calling the Lord, man? Right? right? What were they speaking? They were speaking Hebrew. Right. Right? Yeah. So, hey, man. This, this, you know, it's, it's, it's not that simple to just say, you know, you see it written and that's what it is. Right. You right. got to do more. You got to do more work than that. You got to do more work than that. Right? I got some. I got the book of Ezra, four verse one. This was touching on the topic we spoke about. When we got into this about the name of uh, how uh, you know these nations be wanting to build with us, but we was we wasn't really never letting y'all build with us. Cause check this out. The book of Ezra, four verse one. 
Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity built in the temple unto the Lord God of Israel, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do, and we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Esharhardim, king of Ashur, which brought us which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build a house unto our God, but we ourselves together but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, have commanded us. Go ahead. That's right. So like I said, you have nothing to do with us, all right? These heathens don't have any portion in building the temple and doing any other works of the Most High. It tells us in Romans, what is that, 9? Or, or, or if I'm not mistaken, unto to whom pertaineth the adoption, the service of the Most High. Okay? All these works and these different things pertain unto Israel, man. The scriptures also tell us, too, okay, um, you know, you, you worship, you know not what, but we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Okay? And he was talking to that, what was that, uh, what, Sarah Phoenician or? It was a woman at the well. Yeah, the woman, uh, she was a um, Samaritan woman. I think she was a Samaritan woman. Yeah. Samaritan woman. Yeah. Yeah. Was actually, she was actually Israel. Oh, yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of, when he called her dog, she was actually Israel. But yeah, so they didn't know what they was worshiping, man. You know? So likewise, you know, going into that, these heathens don't have no part to build the temple of the Most High with us, man. Okay? Right. Oh, you was talking about that Canaanite woman? Uh, at the well? Uh, the woman of Canaan? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And when you go into that, when you go into that, it says Sarah Phoenician. That's what I thought. Yeah, she was an Israelite. Well, no, 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 we're not talking about that. We're talking about the one at the well. Oh, oh, the one that had the faithless joint. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the faithless woman. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah she was faithless. Samaritan. Samaritan woman. Yeah, she was faithless. Yeah, the faithless woman. Oh, okay. All right. I think she had been married. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did the faithless joint. She was a heathen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I thought y'all was talking about She was a real dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about the other joint. Oh, yeah, hey, this says what the bro is saying, I get it. This is Romans chapter 9, and I'll start at verse 3. But I, for I could wish that myself were a curse from a Mashiach for my brethren. Verse 1, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in mine heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So Paul, like, man, I, w I wish I could take on what Yahweh I had to go through for my nation. You know? Mm. Let's go ahead. It says, Who are Israelites, mm. to whom pertaineth the adoption, right. the glory, right. and the covenants, mm. and the giving of the law, and the service of the Most High, and the promises. And the conversation. Wow. So, right there, if I'm a heathen, I'm putting the Bible down. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I can comprehend. I know what that means. It says what? They it says three so verse two again? <laughs> yeah, but who pertain it? Well wait a minute. They pertain all this, so the adoption uh, the, the, the adoption of sons mm -hmm. goes back to the Israelites. So when you see people being adopted to the most high, those are Israelites. We talk about the glory, we talk about the kingdom, we talk about the promises, as we read earlier, which goes back to that seed for Israelites. And the, and, and the covenant? And the covenant. So people still want to argue with us about the covenant? Oh well the new covenant means us too. Where? Where? You don't see that in Jeremiah 31 or Ezekiel 34 or Hebrews 8. The new covenant. Hey, what, what are you talking about? It says the co the covenants S. It all pertains to Israel. You see? I mean, y'all argument is so weak, but the delusion be so strong. Because you, they will really argue with us about the covenants. Y'all all fall back on the same principles, man. You false Christians all fall back to the same thing. Oh, well, look, after the blood and grace of Jesus Christ, I can yeah, I can do what I want to do and I'll be saying. That's essentially what you might, you might as well be saying that. <laughs> well, no works, it's not of works, it's not of works. <laughs> and then we'd be like, well, look, man, the Messiah kept the works, but you got to keep it. No, you're, you're being a work-based salvation. No, we didn't say that. No, you're still talking about works. You just want to eat pork, shave the beard, and then etc. And you think you're gonna be saved. Salvation ain't even for you, man. Well, they was well. 
But then they would say, what would, what they say? Well, what would Jesus do? Right? What would Jesus do? What do you mean? He wouldn't eat pork? So right. see? He wouldn't shave off his beard. Right. He definitely wouldn't be doing that. You right. know? Or I'm Christ-like. In what way? In what way are you Christ-like? Hey, 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 you're a man, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. I'd be looking at you funny if you're looking at another man. Uh, no, you was, you was looking at, you at me? Good, man. Huh? I thought you were with that white boy. That's what I thought, too. But, yeah. Hey, look. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Even, and then we got to can't judge by appearance. Uh, that could have been a Jake, man. Yeah. A lot of these a lot of these swirlers, they actually were Jakes. You know? Yeah. They actually were Jakes, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them, some of them is bad branches. So, but but some of them is with Jake and it just looked like an Edomite. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? You just gotta restrain, you gotta judge you can't judge by the appearance, man. You gotta judge righteous judgment and you gotta hey, you gotta treat that situation like you would a, J a Jake walking down the street with his wife. Yeah. Just don't that ain't got nothing to do with you. But yeah, that 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 you like she ain't with him. Yeah, no, like him. Hey bro, hey, look. All the brothers that want women, I mean, don't focus on that because it ain't got time for that. But bro, they about to come walking, bro. You know what they about to be going to? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. <laughs> Look, a lot of them gonna be on restriction. They can't go to certain places. You might be the closest around. Right. You know? I'm like, it's already like that, man. It's already like that. You get on some of these, uh, <laughs> these, these dating sites. Being brought it out anyway. These, these dating sites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Women, yeah. they just in the house. It's like, oh, I just need, I need somebody because I ain't got nothing to do. Nope I'm stuck in here. Mm -hmm. I can't go outside because I'm scared of coronavirus. Yeah. These women are put, they're, they're being humbled by the most high and put in a desperate situation. And a lot of them looking for a man that's still uh, essential work or that's working during <laughs> these times, too. Hey, because they ain't getting Can you bring me some work? food? Yeah, see? Yep. Hey, I'll come over to your house. You ain't got no furniture. We can sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I help you. I help you decorate. <laughs> Let's get it. And they being humble, man. They being yeah, humble, man. Hey, so, seven hey, women uh, shall take hold of one man. Right. And, and I want to give brothers advice to the spirit because the brother came out with a dream. Through the spirit, his wife had the dream, and he shared the dream. And I, I touched on it briefly earlier, man. Reject these ain't shit bitches, man. Yeah. But the Lord, hey, look, when you see the bad bitch, you're still holding on to Babylonian mindset. And don't let, don't, hey, if you're being taken care of by the Lord, don't be letting these ain't shit bitches in your damn <laughs> circle, man. You're right. I got Isaiah 4 1. Right. Go ahead, Brian. Are you right, though? And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right. right. How you doing, man? Hey. That's right. Read it again, brother. Read it again? Yeah. Isaiah 4 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us, only let us be called by thy name and then take away our reproach. And that's all they're going to be wanting, bro. They're going to be wanting called by thy name. Yeah. See, because the scripture says, uh, a man should be uh, more precious than fine gold, bro. Uh -huh, that's right. Or, or, or the, and that man's going to be a, a, a covering, a, a cover from the wind. From the tempest. You see? A rock in the weary land. Yes, yes sir. So we're going we gonna to be that protection. And women yeah. like comfortability, man. Yes. Women like comfortability and security. Right. And the men of the Lord is going to have that. Right. And you're going to be precious commodities, man. Mm -hmm. I used to work with this one woman, right? Like, and she's a, a bigger gold dress. You know what I'm saying? And I used to be like, you know, talking to her and I'm like, yo, why? Why don't you just, like, because I was cool with her, her man, I'm like, yo, like, why don't you just tell him, like, you don't want to be with him then, like, why are you, like, why are you doing this man like this, like, like what's your problem? Right. And her, her answer was, because I don't want to be alone. Jesus, <laughs> but I said, a lot of these women think like that, bro. Yep. They said, you know what, I don't want to be alone, I don't want to be alone at night. So, well, they want the money. you want to continue to do this man wrong, because you don't want to be alone at night? But you can't just be alone at night with him. You crazy as hell. That's what you know. I just I left left it at that. Okay. Do through. Do through. I just wanted to understand that woman point of view of like, why? Why do you like what, what's the purpose? But and when you just listen and then sometimes you ain't even got to, you ain't even gotta ask questions. Bro, women just tell me they just talk. They just I'm like, why do y'all talk so much? They just talk. They just talk about everything. I just be sitting there just like yeah, man, shit. Talk about a gatherer, bro. Yeah. You yeah. women ain't shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the mic. And get the frog after it got some of this shit. Yeah, women ain't hey, shit. I'm just like, oh my goodness. Just soaking it in like, ain't y'all some old bitches though? Mm. Hey, man. Mm. Hey, a, a number of days should, should make it wise, man. But, hey, it, it don't always happen that way. But Like I said, even this generation of grandma, you know, that bullshit. Right. And a, but the point... The point of me saying that or bringing that situation up with that woman is because women want that comfortability. Yeah. They gonna want that. They gonna want that some sense of protection. Even they may, he may not even be a fighter. They still, may, they still want that sense of protection. Like he can be there to protect me or defend me if something goes wrong. Yeah. yeah, and then like I said, my servant shall eat. So when shit really, really get gangster, these women is gonna try to come humble. Yes. You know, but like the brother said in his in his in the vision that his wife had, the woman still had on these long ass witchy nails and they was all decrepit. He had on the raggedy weave and they was they was all fucked up. He's like, man, why you still holding on to them nails? Because she's still gonna have that stench of Babylon on her hey, ass. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. She said she wanted she wanted uh, in the dream you said it, it she reminded wanted, her reminded of her what she had of what she had in her. Oh, so hey. that's gonna be it. You gonna have to watch for that. Hey man, this bitch still worldly, man. You ain't fully repenting. Hey, and that day they gonna be like, if they never trust our enemy, man. And them women, that, she that is my enemy shall see it, right? I got you right here, bro. Go ahead, brother. That's spirit. This is Micah chapter 7 and verse 10. Uh, then, hold on, hold on. I started verse 9. I will bear them. Micah chapter 7 verse 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? Mine eye shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. God, and it been coming out that Eve is in league with Esau. Yes. You think she ain't gonna humble down like Esau will to get what she want? Come in and then fuck your whole situation up? So you're gonna have to be on point, man. She gonna, they gonna, they, they gonna be pretty, but you gonna have to be like, you still got that bullshit on you. Mm -hmm. You still got them demons on you. Hey, you got to get the fuck on. Hey, like Elder Yasha Wamba uh, did a video. I don't know if he did a repost, but he said, "Hey man, you, <laughs> I hope you women can sew." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want me to sew? Yeah, oh, you man. Can do, I hope you can do some form of cooking, bro. Cause noodles, and noodles ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Straight yeah, up, bro. Man. Want you better uh, pie. <laughs> Most yeah. of these girls these days can't cook. Can't, mo can't. It, 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 it can't, bro. <laughs> it's the men that's the cooks, bro. Yep. Real, bro, real rap, bro. It's the men, bro. We the cooks, bro. We the cooks now, bro. And a lot of us men know how to almost do everything for real. Yeah. So it really be like the woman just for the kebab, bro. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Because, bro, a lot of us know how to cook. We know how to clean. We know how to just do shit on our own. Usually, we know how to do all the things that the woman would be like, hey, you know what? I need some things to do. We know how to do that shit. I come over and clean up. Already done. I wash your clothes. Already done. But what about cooking? I really like to make my food my, my certain type of ways. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I can teach you. Maybe. <laughs> I teach you how I want it. Maybe. Yeah. But hey, this is this is why hey man, uh, you know for the elect who are gonna be made kings, you gonna need servants, man. You gonna be worried about enjoying life, man. Enjoying the majesty of the Most High. Right? Enjoying creation. You're gonna have all all this hey, to whom much is given, much is required, right? So you're gonna have you're gonna be ruled over uh, planets. Some brothers gonna be ruled over planets, giant the uh, plots of land, man, countries, right? So you're gonna need servants to handle all the other stuff that you know, all the uh, you know, like the basic stuff. It's like, okay, you need yeah. to eat, you got a chef, right? You got somebody, you got somebody to till your your garments, right? Got somebody to uh, uh, take care of your children. Of course, it's gonna be our woman, right? To do all these different things, man, because you got more responsibilities. That's it. They should be our, 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 our nursing, our nursing maids. And yeah. So yeah, they gonna be like they had man. We gonna have eat of my mammoths. <laughs> so we some eat of my mammoths in the kingdom. My women gonna be doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They even they gonna have service. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Question. And I seen the video yesterday. I don't know what passage it was. But the brother pointed out, it said, uh, you will say to, how to say, you will say to, the, to, your, to your slave, come forth, he then. And then the next verse he said, you will say, uh, give place, he then, my brother is coming through. 
I mean, I don't like, know. I don't know what I'm, sure I'm really not knows. Yeah, not really sure. If somebody read that in the scriptures, or that's just something yeah. like how they just said it. No, you might have read it. Break it down. I can't remember if it was in, it was in the Apocrypha, but I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the Apocrypha okay. that much. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I don't know what you're talking about, but I know as brothers have been saying, like, you know, I don't know what he's saying, uh, <laughs> say, like, uh, um, what, are you, what are we telling them? What are you telling hey, them? What you like, to fly, come. Man, they be like, yes, Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. <laughs> yes, my Lord. <laughs> what, did, what did David's wife do when he came in the room? When she came in the room, she came down and she bounced, she put her, she put her head to the ground and gave reverence unto David. Yeah. So it's gonna be the same thing, man. I want me to go be shame face in the kingdom. Right. Right. Yeah, and just like a businessman that has a business, he don't handle every little aspect in his right. business and worry about, you know, he don't worry about the smallest details. He hired people, and he's put them in those positions to do those similar mm -hmm. things. Exactly. How much more a king, man? Mm -hmm. Kings ain't worried about who's bringing his cup who doing this, that's for everybody else to, to handle. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, cup bearer. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this cup bearer. He, he uh, put him to death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he off. You know, yeah. but but nevertheless, there are different people in the kingdom that handle different jobs. You know? All right. All right. So I got this. I got Luke 24, verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also, also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drink, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, and it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, it destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So, when you have a shower return, it's going to be the same. There's going to be uh, uh, still a uh, Saying there's going to be some type of system, well, we know what system is going on. Yeah. It's going to be an infrastructure still flowing throughout the earth because people are still going to be doing things. Mm -hmm. But they're going to be doing things by a, of a new world agenda. Because mm -hmm. that's all that's going to be in place by when the Lord returns to mark the beast. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. Now, the point I wanted to get is, uh, oh, no, no, no. is uh, verse 30 and 31, or 20 and 32, it said, In that day, he which shall be up on the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Because when these towns come, bro, when they, when they, when they said they started to come out there, right? Say, say if your wife or your mother is going to call you and say, do not come home. You shouldn't even have to ask her. If she, if you should hear it in her voice, she say, don't come home. Mm -hmm. Or she try to code it a certain way, don't go. Because you should already know, that, that might be, that might be the troops there for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't be thinking about, mm, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go home and grab some. I got some rice or I got some. No. Oh, no. You got to. That's, Let it ride. You, you, you going, you pilgriming from right there. Mm -hmm. So maybe you might try to get to your, your, your nearest safe house or something like that. And don't even think of another close family member because they're going to be here too. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to go to an alternative person, maybe a, a, a friend or, you know, the, the, Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord guide you. So call you know, in a favor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Lord will guide you though, but. <laughs> And basically saying they don't return, you know. So we gotta have that same mindset too. Yeah, and you know, like uh, uh, made, made videos. You know, now is the now is the time really to to like to check things out and to be sober, man. Like if you hear something, if you hear something outside at night, you should go check that out, right? Because you never know uh, when Esau is gonna roll on you. Right? It may seem like he, you know, like he ain't coming for you, but you know how he saw get down. He'll come, mm -hmm. he'll come bust through your door three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. you, know? you know? And, and like the bro said, the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in a situation where someone just said, look out the window. I noticed something was off, and I did. Later on, I got in contact. They was like, yeah, the boys came. I was like, oh, well, damn. Mm -hmm. Good thing I was up out of there in the nick of time. Mm -hmm. Verse 32. Remember Lot's wife. This is the point. You gotta remember Lot, Lot, Lot's wife because what happened? Lot's wife looked back. And this is tying into what the brother said with the vision and the dream and what he was expounding. Lot's wife looked back. Well, look, if, if, if Lot said, look, don't look back. You know, angels, the angels is about to destroy this place. Don't look back. What would make her look back? What, 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 what does she need to look back for? That was what? A resemblance of 
everything that I'm never like I'm never gonna see again. You know? Like like a memory, you just that where your heart is, that's where your treasure would be, man. Mm -hmm. You supposed to hey, the scriptures say love not the world, nor the things that are in it, man. But them that love the world is enmity with the most high, rough paraphrase. So don't be at odds with the most high because you love in this place. You love the infrastructure, you're gonna miss the food stamps. Don't be like the, the, the people that was murmuring in the desert. Oh, we had fish and leeks and melons, and you brought us out here to die and do all this. Yeah, all right. Lord gonna kill you. I got one since you want it so bad. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 10, verse 6, it says, When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities, of whose wickedness even to this day was a wasteland that smoketh, is a testimony and plants bearing fruit that never come to right, uh, ripeness, right? Another thing I wanted to touch on, right? That's another scripture to show you that Sodom and Gomorrah was those 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 five cities was example for a place not to not to basically conduct themselves with the same behaviors. Mm -hmm. As this is saying on what the Solomon, man. It's a it's a testimony. It's a memorial. So you can find, hey, the Lord did all that. Oh, we must not do that. Yep, and it's, a, and it's an example of what's going to happen to this place. It's going to be completely wiped out, man. Completely be wiped out. And the smoke, the smoke, after this place is destroyed, it said that the smoke of their torment is set it up forever. forever man. Yep, that's right. So you're going to still see the smoke going up, man. It's going to be a perpetual hissing, man. All them that are going to hiss and wag at the place they run, man. You'll be like, damn, look, fuck that place up. What's that? You're going to be riding up in the chair with your, with your children. They're going to be like, daddy, what's that big ass burnt place over there? What's that? Like a big ass charcoal. What's that? Oh, that's America Babylon the Great, son. The Lord jacked that place up. <laughs> I, that was a great city, what you mean? It looked like a piece of trash right there. Yeah, that's the Badlands. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> like it, like a Lion King. Don't go over there. Everything the light touches. Everything the light touches is all. <laughs> It'd be crazy if the Lord had that place be a perpetual darkness, just right, right there, just a patch of black. A bunch of, you hear a bunch of ravens calling, ah! Like, damn, what the hell over there, yeah, man? Well, that's what it's going to be like. It's the, the, the desert creatures, man. Yeah, yep, yep. Every hateful bird and every and every unclean uh, animal and beast and spirit. And you obviously, know? the light's not touching that. Oh, no. It was it's never true. touching that. So, we ain't going there. Yeah, I think it uh, said every unclean spirit and hateful bird shall dwell there. Yep. And a standing pillar of soap is a monument of an unbelieving soul. And that's a lot of right, man. Because she really an unbelieving soul, man. Oh, no, because if she did, she wouldn't look back. She wouldn't look back. Yeah. And, and really, what's to look back here, man? The flesh, you know, the flesh gets weak. Whatever the case might be, you have that sin that tempts you. But really, man, when you really think about it, there ain't shit in the world for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's say, let's say you was a rapper. What the fuck you gonna rap about? Coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> How you go? You, you ain't gonna have no fucking concert. <laughs> hurt. It ain't hurt. Through. Hurt. Hey, one rapper got on the uh, on Instagram. Me like, man, man, this is my year, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is my year. This go finish coronavirus shit gonna pop up, man. Hey, In my year. The daughters of music show. Uh, uh, Let me brought low, man. Be brought low. It's like, it's like coronavirus gonna wait till I start pop, start uh, uh, making noise. You know what I'm saying? I start making money now. The coronavirus gonna pop up. I'm like, man, hey, shit, it is what it is. You got Jake rapping about coronavirus. Coronavirus. We'll be looking at it like we associated with this. Now I don't know what that dude put here. All that stuff, man. Ask us. Verse eight, right? Verse right. 8, it says, For regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt, that they knew not the things which were good, but also left behind them to the world a memorial of their foolishness, mm -hmm. so that in the things wherein they offended, they could not so much as be hid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the scriptures say that your sins shall be uh, shall be uncovered. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to allow those sins of those who are not forgiven, that are not the elect, they're gonna, their sins are going to be remembered. You know, they're going to uh, awake to per, uh, perpetual, uh, what is it, shame, perpetual shame and, contempt. and contempt. You know, so in the kingdom, the two-thirds are going to remember that they was niggas, 
if they didn't do righteousness for a set amount of time, they're gonna be hanging their head down. I should have did better. Mm -hmm. You know, and Lord willing, we endure. Lord willing, we endure. We not a part of that, man. Cause it's worse to be in the truth and then fall out, man. Mm -hmm. You know. So that's, hey, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. And so we, you know, yeah, we laugh and we do this and we do that, and rightfully so. As long as we stay in the spirit, <laughs> cause it ain't it ain't nothing but up to the most high to cross that line, and now your ass getting laughed at. <laughs> it's real shit, man. We seen it. We seen it, man. Hey, I ain't trying to be like that, bro. Lord willing. Uh, hey, hey, shit. hey, look. All, on <laughs> all, all Israel shall be saved with everlasting salvation, man. Right. Like it says in he, uh, uh, he, not Hebrews, Romans, the eleventh chapter, right? But not all Israel is gonna have the same amount of glory. Mm -hmm. right? right? So, wouldn't you rather be in the kingdom, being a part of the, the first fruits, being at the top, right, than just being your, your average everyday Israelite, which they're going to be righteous too, they're going to be rich, right? But the, the elect are going to have more glory, right? Yep. So, if, if, you all gonna, if we're all going to be in the kingdom, why not be in the kingdom with, with, with uh, you know, uh, the highest uh, honor, you know? So, lucky. That's like saying he's a man to be rewarded according to his works. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to have, I, I, I may not have the same glory as you, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to be envious and lustful because of your glory. Yeah. Because I'm going to have my own. You know? Mm -hmm. It's going to be like a whole different experience, I'm like, yeah. from what this world is, man. Like, you, me and you won't be in competition with oh, each yeah. other. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Not at all. Got wow. Pizza. This is Daniel 12, and uh, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. That's the Jacob's trouble. Yeah, that's the elect. That's yeah. the elect that's written in the book, and that's Jacob's trouble. We enter in it. We enter in it. We in Jacob's trouble, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Michael, Michael got to come back. That's how bad it's gonna be, Michael. Hey, you know, Michael chilling now. You know, you know, it ain't that bad. It ain't terrible for me to come down. But it's gonna get, it's gonna get hectic, bro. And we going a lot of us, we gonna go through things that we, we, we never thought of. You know? We gonna be seeing things that we thought we'll never see. You know, hey, this, hey, man, this gonna be creatures newly created, man. These different things that people be worshiping, they gonna the see the, the Lord's going Whip them up, man. You're gonna cook them up just so you can get destroyed by them. Yeah, some people's cities, bro, some some brothers in different cities gonna be moving around the earth, bro, and it's gonna be just lions and shit running around. We ain't, mm -hmm. we ain't talk, bro. They're gonna, hey, them animals are gonna get released, man. Unless they end up some of them being just stuck and locked in a zoo, but a lot of these animals gonna be released. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hectic down there. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So this is backing up the bro. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Right. So, so that's that different level. Go ahead, bro, break yeah, it down. Yeah, that's gonna be that 144,000, man. Because those are the, those are the, the 144,000, the Lord's using them to, to turn many unto righteousness. Right, so they're gonna have a, a brighter glow, man, a higher honor, right? right. Other, than, other than the rest of the two thirds that come back. Yep, yep, yep. You know? 144,000 living reign with Yahweh Shai for a thousand years, right? Right, there, hey, it says you shall you shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Right, so there's still going to be levels. It's going to be levels. There's going to be, gonna, be uh, ranks, you know? Right. Order. Yep, order, right. Mm -hmm. All right, finish off. But this is the book of Hebrews 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do it so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher, finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. Um, It says, look unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Mosai. For consider him that endured such 
contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your in your minds. Ye have not ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Uh, and ye have forgotten the uh, exhortation which speaketh unto us as, as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastising of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For, for whom the Lord, oh, 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 tripping. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastises and scourges every son with, with whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastising, the most high, the, the most high dealing with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the father chastises not? Man? So we can't chastise, endure it, man. You know, look at it as the, the Lord is correcting you, you know, proving you, trying you. You see? Right. And so, like as a father, a father corrects his son when they go off. So when things are happening to you, just understand, take it cheerfully. Like, you know what? The Lord is testing me. The Lord is punishing, punishing me for something that I may have just did or may have did a while back. So now I'm getting punished for it. But just know that the Lord is dealing with you. Right? Yeah, got you right here, bro. This is Micah chapter 7, again, in verse 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord read again. because I have sinned. Yeah, read it again. Yeah, uh, Micah chapter 7 verse 9 I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me he will bring me into the light and I shall behold his righteousness right so hey we have to bear the indignation of the Lord right because uh, 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 we went off you know as a nation and the Lord has to punish us Right? To, to, to correct us, man. We need to come into the truth. The Lord's still, still going to chastise you, man. And really the chastisement is to purge you, man. To make you, to make you uh, clean. That's right. James 1 and 2. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And that, and that word entire is a French word means a uh, fool or whole okay wanting nothing right so the, it's, the, it's the perfecting of the saints okay it's, it's that perfecting when you go through these things it's so that you may come out as gold tried in the fire right Isaiah 53 verse 1 who have believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground he have no form nor comeliness and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him. He, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our grief and, carries, uh, and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten by the Most High and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Right. So that's things we gotta keep in remembrance, man. You know, what Yahweh Shah endured, what Yahweh Shah went through for us, man. Yep, yep. And he said he was acquainted with grief, man. So likewise, when we pick up that cross, we're gonna be acquainted with the same thing. Yeah. And when you go into that word uh, for grief in the Hebrew, it means sickness. So he he, he was continually uh, sick. You know, that's, that's, that, that happens in the street, man. You get sick. You know, some brothers, that, that, that's, that's their lot to, to be continually sick or have some type of ailment. But that's just one of the things you got to go through. All right, you know? yeah. so, so for you niggas that's talking about you just want to go to the Heavenly Father and can't tell you how to shout, you all of it. You all of it, too. And that sickness, man, hey, be grief. Hey, man, you grief. The word is sweet in your mouth, but it maketh thy belly bitter. You know, and, and also it talks about uh, the more knowledge that you have. Uh, uh, the more knowledge, uh, uh, the more wisdom we have, the more uh, the more sorrow. The more, more sorrow. sorrow. Yeah, with, yeah, with the more wisdom increases the more sorrow. Increases the sorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hey, the elect are not going to love their lives until the death. You know, so this is another aspect. Of it. Right. So we close out on this one more time. Pull it back. Hebrews 12 verse 2. Looking into Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Right. 
Yeah. So, hey, <laughs> Shai, he, he endured, he endured uh, uh, all that chase, the chasing of the Lord, right? right? He endured uh, torture, you know, being put on the cross. He endured shame, right? So, hey, with, with that, man, you know, it's, it's, they said, he said, the author and the finisher of our faith, man. So we have to go through what Yahweh Shai went through. It's our turn to bear the cross. It's our yeah. turn, right? He sat down at the right hand, so that's the hope that we get to sit down at the right hand, you know, of Yahweh Shai, you know, to, to come back unto the Lord, man. Right? Yeah. Through much tribulation, is into the kingdom of heaven. You know? right. We're going to focus up, you know? Yeah. But with, with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and shout out to the hopeful elect brethren, teaching and pushing this word in sincerity and truth. And abide, Babal! Abide, Babal!